signs, positive, integer solutions of the Diophantine equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 169. This video contains the following sections. Reading the problem carefully and understanding it. Developing a plan to solve it. Solving the problem. Thinking about it further and try to apply the approach to other problems. Near the end of the video, there's an additional question which can be solved using a similar approach to that used for solving a specific problem. If you find these helpful, please subscribe to the channel for notification of new videos by pressing the video watermark in the right hand corner of the video player. There are three variables, one equation. There may be more than one set of solutions because 169 equals 13 squared x, y, z are greater than zero. So x, y, z must be less than 13. To find the solutions, it may be helpful to narrow down further the range of possible integers. For example, x squared plus y squared plus z squared must be less than three times the largest variable. Suppose x is greater than or equal to y is greater than or equal to z is greater than zero, then x squared plus y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to three x squared. That is to say, three x squared is greater than or equal to 169, so x is greater than or equal to 8. Let x be greater than or equal to y, be greater than or equal to z, be greater than 0. We have x squared is less than x squared plus y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to 3x squared. x squared is less than 169. And 3x squared is greater than or equal to 169. x is less than 13 and x is greater than or equal to 8. So x can take the values 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. If x equals 12. The equation becomes y squared plus z squared equals 25. Because y squared is less than y squared plus 
that squared is less than or equal to two y squared. So y squared is less than 25 and two y squared is greater than or equal to 25. From y squared is less than 25. We know that y is less than five. From two y squared is greater than or equal to 25. We know that y is greater than or equal to four. So y can take the value four. That squared equals 25 minus 16 equals nine. So there are integer solutions for x equals 12. Y equals four, z equals three. If x equals 11, the equation becomes y squared plus z squared equals 48. Because y squared is less than y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to 2y squared. So y squared is less than 48 and 2y squared is greater than or equal to 48. Y is less than seven and Y is greater than or equal to five. So Y can take the values five, six. Z squared equals 48 minus 25 equals 23. 48 minus 36 equals 12. So there are no integer solutions for x equals 11. If x equals 10, the equation becomes y squared plus z squared equals 69. Because y squared is less than y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to 2y squared. So y squared is less than 69. And 2y squared is greater than or equal to 69. y is less than 9 and y is greater than or equal to 6. So y can take the values 6, 7, 8. z squared equals 69 minus 36 equals 33. 69 minus 49 equals 20. 69 minus 64 equals five. So there are no integer solutions for x equals 10. If x equals nine, the equation becomes y squared plus z squared equals 88. Because y squared is less than y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to two y squared. So y squared is less than 88 and 
2y squared is greater than or equal to 88. y is less than 10 and y is greater than or equal to 7. So y can take the values 7, 8, 9. Z squared equals 88 minus 49 equals 39. 88 minus 64 equals 24. 88 minus 81 equals 7. So there are no integer solutions for x equals 9. If x equals 8, the original equation becomes y squared plus z squared equals 105. Because y squared is less than y squared plus z squared is less than or equal to 2y squared. So y squared is less than 105. And 2y squared is greater than or equal to 105. From y squared is less than 105, we know that y is less than 11. From 2y squared is greater than or equal to 105. We know that y is greater than or equal to 8. So y can take the values 8, 9, 10. Z squared equals 105 minus 64 equals 41. 105 minus 81 equals 24. 105 minus 100 equals 5. So there are no integer solutions for x equals 8. In summary, with the assumption x is greater than or equal to y is greater than or equal to z is greater than zero. We found that x equals 12, y equals 4, z equals 3 is one set of solutions. However, conditions about the rank of x, y, z weren't given, which means the equation has six sets of solutions. Think about the thought process for the previous question further and try to apply the approach to other problems, such as this one. Find positive integer solutions of the Diophantine equation x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed equals 547. You can write your answers in the comments section if you like. Can you think of other problems that can be solved using a similar approach? Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. See you next time.